What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today I've got another fun match for you here. I got a brand new squad full of some absolute outcasts as per usual, along with some Pokemon that were requested in the comments as always. If you guys could hit that like button on the video, it definitely helps out. And I do appreciate all the support on these. Looking at today's matchup, it seems like I found somebody who is using a team that's not fully just the overused standard stuff, which is amazing. I am finding my Wi-Fi battles on the code 2022-2021, so if you're looking for Wi-Fi battles, there's usually quite a few people in there. Most of people are using OU teams, as that's kind of just standard. But of course, shout out to Joey Pokeaim for setting up that community code. It makes life pretty easy. Anyway, starting off the match here, they're going to lead off with their turtle. Um, I wasn't really sure what they were going to want to lead off with. I decided to go with my Donald Trump here, setting up the wall, just, just trying to wall him off early um, as this thing, of course, sets up his drought. Now, it's a little bit of an interesting team comp that they're working with because it's not necessarily like a sun team. I mean, they have the Tropius, but you know, the, the sun's not going to be super beneficial for either. Other than some boosted fire damage and some vitamin D, it's pretty much all you can expect from that. The Typhlosion will benefit. Um, Typhlosion is a very scary Pokemon that I am worried about. We both trade Stealth Rock here. I wanted to get that up just to kind of limit some switches here. Typhlosion now uh, will not have full power eruptions on, upon switching in, and I just figured might as well. So I decide to stay in and just go for an Earthquake here as they actually end up switching into the Marowak. So it comes in on the Stealth Rock. Earthquake's obviously not going to do much damage to this thing. Uh, this Bastio is working with Flamethrower. I mainly have that just because uh, Scizor, if you were wondering what the hell that was all about. It's, you know, he's basically just here to just soak up attacks. Uh, but Marowak is not really a Pokemon I want to mess around with, obviously, because I can't really hurt it in return. So I decided to switch into my Masquerain. Now, this thing was kind of put on the team last minute. I wanted to put... Uh, a nice little setup Mon Special Sweeper potentially on this squad, but I actually do not have any way to get rid of Stealth Rock. So I come in, take half from that, and uh, I do get the prediction correct as it went for the ground move there. So now I have a little bit of momentum here. Uh, I'm thinking Life Orb set from my you know max special attack should be able to knock this thing out with a Bug Buzz, and it does. So that's actually pretty great. Marowak goes down. Uh, not the scariest Pokemon, because unless it's in like Trick Room or something like that, if you generally have speed above it, you can easily take care of it. But with that thick club, my boy working with that thick ass club, he's, you know, pretty scary. But uh, next in comes a Typhlosion. Now, this thing's in the sun. It's going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. And of course, most of these things that you see are going to be running Choice Scarf. He actually ends up going for the Focus Blast here, to my surprise. I uh, wanted to, I guess, predict potentially Rapidash coming in. I considered switching into Rapidash uh, to try to get that Flash Fire activated, but of course Masquerade can take a fighting move, and I then go for a Hydro Pump in the sun, and the sun basically just dries up my pump out here and just evaporates that shit. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to kill it. Um, I honestly just expected Masquerade to go down here, so I kind of just clicked whatever. Luckily, I did land the Hydro Pump, which you'd love to see. Uh, but he actually ends up going for, you know, another one. Of course, that does reveal to me this thing is going to be choiced. And, um, you know, there's no reason anybody would go for a second Focus Blast there. Unfortunately, he hits two in a row. So, Homeboy over here got to go buy a lotto ticket or something. Nobody hits two Focus Misses in a row. It's just, that's why they call it Focus Miss. Anyway, now I get a free switch. Uh, Masquerade, unfortunately, goes down, but... It didn't look like it was going to be great for me in this matchup anyway. So I decided to go into Raichu, and my thought was that they would potentially switch out. Um, so I went for the Volt Switch there, which is a little bit unfortunate and kind of a misplay on my end. Uh, the main reason is because now I basically have to send in a Pokemon. They can then see what that Mon is and then get a matchup accordingly. So I decided to bring in the absolute unit, the biggest lemon you've ever seen. Guy comes out sparkling, he's in the sun, he's just soaking up the rays, and he's like, I'm all by myself out here, so... Might as well just have a little picnic and eat eat my leftovers. <laughs> it's always funny sending a Pokemon into, you know, an empty battlefield because they're like, hey, uh, what the fuck's going on here? But uh, they decide to go into the Lanoon. Now, Lanoon's a little bit of a one-trick pony. Uh, when it comes to Wi-Fi battling, most of the time you're going to see these things as a belly drum set with a berry uh, and extreme speed. So expecting them to go for the belly drum, Lemon says, I see through your bullshit, you rodent or whatever the hell Lanoon is. Uh, it does go for the Belly Drum there, maximizes its attack, which is extremely scary. Plus, with the extreme speed, uh, it gets a extremely powerful uh, stab move with that. But, I basically just smack him with the old tongue. <laughs> I like to think that that's, that's not a, a hammer arm there, that's actually a hammer tongue. And that does take care of this thing. I was very happy uh, that I was running hammer arm on this thing, because now I don't have to worry about getting swept by a Lanoon. And Lemon says, not today, bitch. And you just, you, you love to see it. So... Uh, looky looky, he's actually looking like I'm in a pretty good position. Now, this thing is supposed to be a curse set. This mod would actually work really well in a trick room as well with the speed drops from 
um, you know, from Curse and, and Hammer Arm and things like that. But in comes Milotic. Now this is quite an interesting sequence um, where things get a little strange here. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna assess the situation here, go for a knockoff, as it actually ends up going for a wrap. And I, I'm like, what, excuse me? What the hell was that? Um, <laughs> I just got wrapped by a Milotic, then I go for the knockoff and then it's got cute charm, and then Lemon falls in love. And I'm like, bro, we do not love these hoes. I don't know how many times I got to tell you. Uh, so now I'm like infatuated and wrapped, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Also, I just knocked off something that other than the general items you see from a fucking Milotic, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty much being pranked here. I don't really know what to expect, but I cannot switch out now that I'm wrapped, which is actually unfortunate. Keep in mind, I do have uh, Raichu on my team, which I've kind of designated to, to handle this threat, but I've of course already been shown that this is not going to be your usual Milotic set, and I kind of just want to stay in and try to get some damage off on this thing. I don't know, I'm, in, I'm infatuated and wrapped, so I mean, my dude's kind of in a little BDSM action going on here, but we're not going to we're not going to talk about it, alright? Uh, I actually end up speeding up the battle here quite a bit, and the reason for that is because Normally, Milotic is one of the most annoying, annoying Pokemon to fight, but specifically this one is got to be the worst one I've ever seen. It's just going to continue to coil here. As I'm in love, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go for some curses. I'm feeling like you don't have much in terms of an attacking move on it, like a physical move from Milotic. I'm, I feel like the only thing this thing's got is probably like Dragon Tail. Uh, so I'm going to continue to set up. They're going to continue to coil. It's just kind of a shit fest going on in the battlefield at the moment as I'm just trying to get body slams off and then it reveals it's recover. So I'm like, holy shit, how the hell am I going to deal with this? We are back to real time and it does reveal that it is going to be Dragon Tail. So that's actually great. I'm like, please bring in Raichu. Nope, it brings in Soul Rock. Uh, and that is, you know, not quite ideal because this thing at this point I think has like plus six in terms of attack and defense. Uh, and accuracy for what it's worth, but I'm like, okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna switch Soul Rock out. I'm gonna bring back in Licky Licky, uh, who is then gonna basically die to a Dragon Tail, and then I can bring in whatever I would like. All I need is my Specs Raichu up in this bitch, and we are Gucci. So I bring in Lemon, gets hurt by some pointed stones, and instead it goes for a recover. I'm like, really, bro? I honestly did not see <laughs> this coming at all. From their team comp, Milotic was kind of the the outlier as well, and it really it really is quite a quite an interesting one, but. I just go for a body slam here, basically waiting for this thing to kill me. It goes for the Dragon Tail and actually left me with one HP, which is wildly annoying because now this brings back in Soul Rock. Of all Pokemon to bring in, it keeps bringing in this damn thing. And now I have to try this one more damn time. I can bring in Licky Licky. I can just die to the Stealth Rock damage, hope that they don't recover to the point where I can then bring in Raichu and knock it out. So Licky Licky comes back in and he's like, what the hell is going on here, man? I've been in love and then I keep getting hurt. And honestly, bro, it, I guess he, he really kind of learned a lesson today, but <laughs> uh, they actually end up going for a coil there on kind of the empty turn, as I think this thing is nearly actually at full HP. But finally, all the bullshit's over, I can get in my Raichu like I needed to, and it's time. Sp choice Specs, Stab Thunderbolt from Raichu, I'm thinking should probably take this thing out, I don't really know what kind of EV spread this thing's working with, but I go for the T-Bolt there, it actually ends up living in the red, and I'm like, oh god as it does not get fully paralyzed and just smacks me with his tail and then Raichu dies. So I'm like, okay, hold on. I, this match was going pretty well for me for a second and now I've really just hit a wall here with this <laughs> with this damn water snake. Um, so I've got to try to find a way around this and that is going to be my Soul Rock. So keep in mind, uh, this thing is at plus six defense and it's a Melo tick and it's just really, really bulky. So. My plan is to go for a rock slide. I feel like I have pretty good odds to either get a flinch or a full para. So I go for the rock slide here. Does not quite knock it out, but I get the flinch. Thank God. There there truly is a God. Thank you. <laughs> it was probably trying to click recover there and I probably would have lost, but I'm able to go for another rock slide here, able to take care of the Milotic and sweet Jesus. I swear to God that has to, has to be my most annoying encounter uh, with that Pokemon ever, but things are looking pretty swell here as now they go back into the uh, into the turtle who gets the sun back up and I'm kind of worried because they do still have the uh, the Tropius in the back so sun is back up Soul Rock's actually kind of in his element over here he's like I am I am the sun so you know this is just double sun out here I go for a rock slide here choice bandage Soul Rock is able to knock that thing out and uh, honestly choice band Soul Rock is the move shout out to this dude for commenting on like every one of my recent videos asking me to use a choice Soul Rock I got you bro uh, now they decide to bring in the Tropius, 
and I'm thinking, okay, this thing will probably outspeed me here, and I'm a little bit frightened. Um, but I have some threats in the back, so I'm just gonna stay in and go for the rock slide as I am banded into that, and I actually outspeed, which tells me this thing is definitely not chlorophyll, and it's definitely not max speed. It actually, as I kill it, it eats a berry. So I'm like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Turns out it's a Jabaka berry, uh, which leads me to believe that thing potentially was harvest ability. I, I don't know, but either way, <laughs> that's gonna be the end of the match there. Uh, definitely an interesting one. I wanted to upload this because it was definitely unconventional and quite strange, but I had a good time. It's always fun playing in matches where people aren't literally bringing Skarmory, Blissey, fucking just literally every OU Pokemon you can imagine. So thank you guys very much for watching. I do really appreciate uh, all the support lately on these videos, and I will catch you guys next time.